The functional test for the hemiplegic slash paretic upper extremity evaluates the client's ability to use their upper extremity. The test has seven levels, which include various activities. The activities are ranked in order of complexity in relation to motor control, sensory integration, cognition, and judgment. For the purpose of this video, we will be demonstrating the first activity of each level, one through seven. Grading is scored as a positive or a minus score. The client is allowed three attempts at each task and is allowed three minutes total to complete these tasks. If the client is not able to complete three tasks in a row, the assessment is then completed and the client will be scored as the last level they were able to successfully complete. Grading is based upon several factors. First, if the client cannot complete tasks A or B of level two, they are automatically considered a level one and the examination does not continue. A level one client would exhibit no voluntary motion of the shoulder or elbow of the involved arm. The client is graded on the functional assistance of the involved extremity for each task. For example, for level two, activity A, the client would receive a positive grade if they show active wrist, elbow, or shoulder motion in their involved arm. The client would receive a negative sign if their involved arm remains flaccid at their side. For the first exercise, I'm going to press down on your right arm. Try and resist the pressure. For the next exercise, you're going to use your right hand to tuck your shirt into your left hand side. For the next activity, you're going to take a peanut butter jar with your left hand and remove the lid with your right hand. For the next activity, you're going to hold the pan with your unaffected hand and pour some of the water off with your left hand holding the lid. For the next activity, you're going to take blocks with your left hand and place them into the pan. For our next assessment, we're going to be doing cat's cradle. First, you hook your thumbs through and pull the string taut. Next, you hook your pinkies through and pull the string taut. Then you take your right middle finger and pull through. Next, your left middle finger and pull through. 